We want to make sure that we understand the importance of running enterprise level antivirus. And really, when we call it antivirus now, it's more than just that. Okay, this is Sophos Endpoint Security. So we're talking about antivirus, host based IPS, anti malware, and tamper protection. We don't want to rely on our end users to make sure that these software packages are updated and upgraded. So we should be using network admission control or NAP from Microsoft or some other solution, maybe tied into 802.1x to make sure that our end systems are compliant and they get placed into a remediation or a restricted VLAN until they go to a captive portal where they're directed to the internal server or to the cloud to install or upgrade their software. We can also have antivirus protection for our endpoints from the firewall perspective. Here we see a Palo Alto firewall where we've got an antivirus security profile that we can add to a security policy and get antivirus protection along with file blocking and wildfire analysis and data filtering for all traffic flowing from one zone to another. Primarily, we're focused on the outside untrusted zone going to the inside trusted zone. Notice that malware bytes premium, and by the way, you need to use more than one package, more than one solution on your endpoint. I use Sophos and malware bytes on two of my systems, and I use Semantic and malware bytes on two of my other systems. And you can see that we're getting not just antivirus, but web protection, exploit protection, malware protection, and ransomware protection. If we find something, a potential unwanted program or a PUP. We're going to make sure it gets quarantined. And then we'll look at the quarantine area or go to the reports area and determine what we want to keep or permanently remove from our computer. This can also be done centrally from a centralized management station at the Security Operations Center. Here's an example of malware bytes thinking that GimpShop.exe was malware. It wasn't, so I selected it and I restored it. You may also see reporting on things that were blocked outbound connections that were blocked or inbound connections that were blocked. You may also want to engage in file integrity monitoring. This is Power Broker and it's the server management console of an organizational file integrity monitoring system. It's policy based and you can see there's policy definitions for different Linux drives and mount points. For example, ETC password, ETC shadow, ver log, ver ADM. Key areas on a Linux system to monitor the integrity of your files. Log analysis is also very important. Most organizations use some type of security information and event management system, or they use log aggregation, going to a centralized management point. With CM systems, we're going to get reporting for compliance, for example, with GLBA, SOX, HIPAA, and PCI DSS. We also have event management with real-time monitoring, incident management, response and alerting, and automated or user-driven log analysis. And we're filtering this from a wide variety of logs, system logs, application logs, for example, email servers and web servers, FTP servers, SharePoint servers, e-commerce or e-business servers, business intelligence or XML related servers. We also have audit logs generated from internal or external audits, database logs, and device logs, for example, logs from your routers, your switches, your firewalls, and your IPS sensors. A lot of organizations are going beyond traditional SIEM systems, and other organizations are providing artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to provide better analysis and better visibility. This is a dashboard from a company called Dynatrace, D-Y-N-A, Trace. You can find them on the internet. And they're on the cutting edge or the bleeding edge of this type of machine learning algorithm, visibility, log monitoring, and analysis. Let me show you a couple of others I want you to check out. This is Anodot, A-N-O-D-O-T. They're an Israeli company. You can go up here and download their white paper. Okay, Gartner calls them a cool vendor in analytics. And you can go and check out their different product offerings, real-time analytics, automated anomaly detection systems, and again, it's a software as a service platform. Taking your metrics, going to the cloud, using their patented machine learning algorithms and metric analytics. And a lot of these companies, again, they protect their algorithms and their methodologies very closely. Uh, they're definitely a corporate asset, intellectual property to help you visualize, alert, 
and investigate a wide variety of output. Another company is Logs.io. They have what's called ELK as a service. ELK stands for Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. Okay, again, it's proprietary. As you can see, it's also HIPAA compliant. Another advanced tool for cloud-based log analytics and monitoring. All right, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration.